Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to The Engineer, the game that absolutely mocks my profession. Now, in this mission, we need to build a water tower. We need to <laughs> erect a tower to support my water. <laughs> But you are a child, Randy. And we've got to make sure the water tower stays up for six seconds. So let's get into this. And so it's oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty tall, this water tower. So we start off down here. We've got a bit of a foundation going on, which is always a good start. Nice flat concrete area. We've only got 20 beams and 20 bits of bracing, as well as six sheets. Try and make something. Okay, well, let's start with a beam. We can say connection type fixed so that means it's going to be like fixed onto the floor you can sort of see there's like there's like nails in the bottom sticking this to the floor so let's i mean i feel like it's a bit obvious to go with like four i feel like as an engineer i should be pushing the limits of engineering so i'm going to be going a little bit a little bit abstract on this so i think what i want to do i want to say make that longer i then want to lean this probably that direction like that i want to shove another one on there so let's rotate that like that okay that's looking good that's looking good well then yeah we'll aim this thing back that direction i want to i want to shrink that a bit probably to there-ish and i got 17 beams remaining so i think what i want to do i want to come under there rotate that way <laughs> those nails are like barely barely into that that's gonna fall surely but yeah i'm gonna attempt to hang this underneath i haven't actually unlocked ropes yet i don't think they're available in this demo but i want to try and hang this from there so we do that sort of thing i've made like a claw <laughs> i've literally made a claw yeah, then we can get underneath. Oh, this is actually looking quite good. Okay, then I can just sheet from like there over to there and there over to there. And then I reckon that will probably hold it. Although what I'm hoping is going to happen, the physics of this, this will just fall down. So let's press build and then we'll see are there physics that mean this falls over, please. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, game. I was worried it was going to be really easy. Right, okay. So what I'm imagining now, this is what the architect has given me as a drawing. I need to come up as an engineer of a way to make this work. Oh, I'll tell you what, this could actually be a, this could be a segment in like future videos. You guys on like Twitter or something, send me like a drawing of how to complete a level and then I'll try and like engineer it and try and make it work. <laughs> I've only got four beams. I do have 20 bits of bracing though and I got a load of nails, which could be helpful. So first up, probably worth trying to like brace the bottom properly so if i rotate into that corner lean it that way all right so we've got that i can then use nails to like try and get these in so if i just go boosh through there boosh through there if i head up here i can boosh straight down that way and straight down that way so i'm hoping that will be fairly strong for the bottom i don't think that's going to be strong enough so probably worth trying to brace that we just go on top like that maybe another one underneath that should stop that like snapping right maybe perhaps let's press build and what i'm hoping is like the bottom sort of stays together a bit more whether it will i don't know but let's see oh yeah did you see that it actually did i mean until the barrel crushed it all right so bottom half is good i definitely need to reinforce like all of this bit though so where where do i even start with this i think we got to get the nails in so let's Let's just nail through all of these sheets. So you can see I've just added that nail in. So that should make those a bit stronger. Probably worth if I come like underneath nailing up there and doing the same up here. So I probably want like yeah, if I get a nail in like that direction, that should make this a fair bit stronger, right? You can shove like another one down there. Yeah, that's good. I'll then do the same like down here if I just do boosh. And then boosh. All right, so that's most of my nails used up. I've got bracing. I've got two beams left. I don't know. Do, does the bracing work in compression and tension? Because what I feel like I need, I need like, I need to reinforce like those arms a bit so they don't move. So if we do that, I can then do the same up here. This is probably destroying the architect's vision, but physics exist. That's all I'm saying of, of the matter. All right, let's see. Have we got any closer to actually holding this? with the current design so it's just about finished the building oh it's a lot better it's a lot better that was a heavy barrel <laughs> that's a really heavy barrel so i reckon if we if we like 
brace. Can I brace from there down to there? Because that puts less stress on these two joints, right? Right. I still, I feel, <laughs> I feel like this sheet thing at the bottom is probably the weak point. But I don't know. Let's let's try building that. Then let's see. Is that? I'm getting like, I'm getting flashbacks to my, my old day job working with architects. All right, don't let the architects know, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a beam to try and support this from underneath. They'll probably come up with some excuse like, oh, you're ruining the illusion. Uh, shut up, architects. Have you never heard of gravity before? All right, so cheeky nail through that way. Cheeky nail straight up into there. I mean, I am wondering as well if this... If this does keep failing, I might replace like, these blocks. Just try and hold it with like bracing or something. But how is that support underneath help? Oh my goodness, it's so heavy. Okay, what if I make more of like a mount underneath? Brace the top of these like that. Yeah, that'll make the that'll make these sheets way stronger. Okay, that still sort of looks like what the architects intended, right? It's had some engineering applied. Oh no. All right, so this is the part of the scheme where you sit down with the architect and say, you're an absolute madman. Do you know how heavy this barrel of water is? You can't just dangle it with wood. Right, so what if we don't think like an architect? What if we think like an engineer? Now, as we know, triangles are strong. So what I'm thinking, probably one of these. If we just go in each corner to that height. Then we can shove another one on top. Yeah, that's a good height. That is a good height. All right, and then we just want to brace these. So what I'm thinking, we do from there down to the middle in, in a diagonal. Because that turns these into triangles. And as everyone knows, a triangle is the second strongest shape in engineering. Oh, really? So if we then brace all the way around this edge and then from the middle too so it looks like that sort of thing you can then see the top half is two triangles lovely we then want to do the same for the bottom but because the force will be coming down this beam we want to start from there and then take that down to that edge like that so we'll just go around and make sure all the sides are sort of the same like that. So we've made a platform like this. We just need to add the sheet on top so we can go from the edge of that over to there like that. And then basically when the weight comes in here, the weight of this water tank is just trying to get to the ground. And we've just put this in the way. So the actual force should come like down these, these central beams. But also down these diagonals into the ground. So hopefully that might be strong enough to support it. It's just whether it actually will. I haven't really played too much of this. So I'm not really sure how it works. It depends whether like these edges... Oh boy! <laughs> are going to be strong enough or not. And they're clearly not. So since we got loads of beams could be worth adding a bit more so i'm thinking well i could first off just add one to the middle because that will probably stop this sheet of plywood flexing so much but we probably want to go from these middle sections if i just like rotate this that way to the middle then rotate upwards like that and then extend Extend that to there. We can then do that sort of thing. And if we do that from each of these corners. So then we've got that going on up here. I can then nail these together. Because these, these are like free ends. They're not fixed. Then all the force should come down onto these. I may need to add more, more braces like from the bottom. But let's see. Is that any better? Oh yes it is. But not quite enough. So six more beams. I'm thinking we literally just go like somewhere from down here. If we extend up to like there-ish. I can then just shove a nail in that top left corner. So I'll do that for all of these. And then basically this beam I added at the top. I just want to nail that to the one underneath. So like down there. So boosh straight down that one. And then this one we just got to get down the end of it. Boosh. So now the so now the weight of this should come down this beam and then that should go down that beam to the middle. This has got to be strong enough. Surely. Surely. So let's see what happens when it spawns in. Oh no! It still broke. I did actually see where it failed there though. So basically I put the weight of this plywood like on these on these side bits of bracings. Perhaps they weren't strong enough. Perhaps I should have put beams. So if I just get in here and shove a beam like that 
another one on this side like that. And I can just nail this on. And not only that, I can nail into that beam along this bracing. And so basically, I've just made the top like way stronger. Oh, yes. And now it holds. And we got a D minus. I mean, not, not great for a real civil engineer, but... Uh... <laughs> but yeah, let's go on to the next level with the obstacle course. Oh, no, not an obstacle course. So this is a level where we actually control our engine. <laughs> where have I got to get to? Oh, the time the time is going. Just go. Just go. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Right, I am hanging on. Right, let go. Let go. Oh, shouldn't let go. All right, I don't really know what I'm trying to get to. I think i got to climb over this. Oh, wait, is this thing? This thing's rolling. This thing's rolling out. Okay, I've ended up. I've ended up up here. That's fine. Backstroke over it. We learned last time. Backstroke, strongest stroke. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn it. All right, okay, we're making it. We are making it. We're going backwards. Yes. Okay, we did it. There you go. D minus. We'll take a D minus. Right. Oh, no. Now I've got to build a tree house. I mean, I should I should be able to do this. I am I am an engineer. We got loads of goodies. 50 beams, 50 bracing, 20 sheets, and 50 nails. Right. So there's no branch underneath. So we're going to have to sort of make our own branch. I feel like 45 degree angle is sort of the, the shallowest angle I want to go. So if I just make that longer, angle it up. What's that pointing at? Sort of. Oh, sort of that corner. Okay, that's not too bad. Thing is, I'll probably then need to support that beam. So let's let's try and get that close underneath. Okay, will a nail reach between those two? Yes, just about. <laughs> just about. I think that should be... That could be fine. Probably shouldn't use the word should on this. I think could is much more sensible. But yeah, two nails in there. That's actually a lot stronger now. Let's try and get the other side in. So let's grab a beam from here. Make sure it's points in the right direction. Angle it up. All right, so that's good there. How much is that supporting? Oh, not quite the whole thing. To be fair, though, we can have like a cantilevered edge of the treehouse. I'm sure that'll be fine. So again, probably want to try and support that beam as well. So if we go from there, oh, I can't actually go any steeper. Oh, fair enough. I mean, I could do I could do that. Bring a nail through there. All right, okay. <laughs> not gonna lie, they're not looking the strongest, but let's just try and get this like this front edge sorted. I don't think it's worth coming off this side, except maybe for stability. But I think for the weight, I want to come off this branch. So that should support that corner. Okay, right. Then looking at this, that's, you can see it's just going to lean like to the left. Since I've got nothing underneath to support it with, we need some tension. Now, I don't have rope. But I imagine what I can do, I can just brace like over to the tree oh can i oh i can't brace the tree okay we're gonna have to okay we need to beam from the tree fair enough so if we go to there then from this bit of tree over to there then this could work maybe potentially so if we just support these by going oh really that's as short as i can go yeah right i've just put like four little beams across those so now i just need to go mental with the nails so i'm basically just nailing like every piece together because so at the moment that's just that's just hanging out in the middle of nowhere we need to go boosh and get it connected <laughs> <laughs> it's only just connected. But yeah, if we just go mental with the nails, that should be fine. All right, and then we just need some diagonals in here. So I want to come from that one, I think. And we want to head upwards and up to that corner, like that. Then nail this up. We nail this end as well. All right, and then chances of this working at the moment, probably slim to none. But I just want to see roughly how it's looking, like how it fails. So ready? Oh, oh, it worked. <laughs> it worked. Water weighs way more than tree houses. I never knew that. So it looks good to me. It is standing. I've now just got to make it up there. Oh, is that what I have to do? I need to like add a staircase or can I just climb up this tree? All right, arms up in the air. Uh, that that didn't go great. Oh, we are climbing though. We are climbing. All right, that is it. That is it. Get up there. Everyone knows the best tree houses don't have ladders to get in. Otherwise, architects can get in. And this is a no architect zone. All right, how am I actually going to get over there? Even with my gymnastic muscles, it's just slightly too far. Oh, but I have I have just about hung on. How do I do the backwards roll again? <laughs> right, that's it. Get that arm locked on. And then this Oh no, I'm like I'm pushing the tree house off. See what if I could get rid of the tree house, that would be a lot easier. <laughs> I'm so close. I'm so close. Oh no, the tree house, the tree house, <laughs> the tree house has officially fallen off. Somehow though, I haven't. All right. So <laughs> This is an absolute mess. Right, there we go. There we go. We're up. We are up. We are nearly up. Yes. Okay. Have I done it? I'm in. Am I in the area? 
Yes, we're in the area. That's exactly what the game wanted. I got a C. What did I get? 1,270 points. What do I need for a B? Oh, 1,275. All right, anyway, the next level is Potato Silo. I've got to make a potato shoot. All right, so basically, potatoes are going to fall out of this. I've got to get them into this box. Um, and oh, look, we've got rotators and wheels this time. We've also got blocks. So we can use blocks as like a foundation. So let's just shove a foundation or two down because then we can build from this okay so what i'm thinking we go from this edge straight up like that we then go from that edge in sort of a 45 degree right, we then go a little bit lower like that add some supports for those bits underneath like that All right then i'm gonna need some lateral support here so let's go from there lean that direction shove it there and we'll add cross beam there cross beam there and then cross beams there as well all right then we can just go to town with nails because basically i just want all of this to like not move so that hopefully i can just shove a and shove a sheet like across there then spuds should fall out bounce off there and then perhaps bounce in there i don't know how bouncy potatoes are if i'm honest it's not really my area of expertise but uh we can see this being built and then hopefully we'll see the potatoes go flying i mean i don't even know if this is going to be strong enough but oh it's pretty good it, I mean, it probably could be better. My my plywood has now broken as well. How many did we get? 83 potatoes. I need 150. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add from... Oh, yeah, from down here, I could go up like that. Do the same over there. Wang a few nails in. Sheeting on there. Extra sheet across there. <laughs> <laughs> just keep adding sheets it'll be fine all right and then probably worth adding some bracing just so that like these don't fall forwards so i'll just do down both sides like that i mean since they broke i might just brace these together all right and then have we used engineering to make this better <laughs> i'm not convinced we use engineering at all but to be fair look at the number of potatoes oh no they're getting they're getting caught they're getting caught yes we hit 150 potatoes that was our aim yes i have achieved I've got a C, which means next time we'll be building a cart and a cantilever platform. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and spud shoots. Bye, guys.